a stolen penny, I uh, definitely, bro, I once had $33 stolen, like, bro, at school, and the thing is, I never told a teacher for some reason, if I told the teacher, it would probably could have ended. I probably could have checked the cameras and shit. No, no. Oh, look at the Kiki. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, hey, Cody. Who's that? Oh, it's my cat. Oh, what's his name? Oh, it's Blue Eyes White Kiki. You know, like Blue Eyes White Dragon from Yu Gi Oh! But this one's a Kiki. Bro! I wish I understood this game. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, check this out. I got all these pennies. Oh, but this one's my favorite one. See, that's a 1943 steel penny. Now I know what you're thinking. Cody, aren't pennies made of copper? Well, Junior, normally you'd be right. But you see, in 1943, that's when World War II was happening, and they needed the copper for war materials. So they yeah. stopped producing copper pennies and made them out of steel instead. So if you get a copper penny from 1943, it's really valuable, because that means it was minted by mistake. But this one, this one's made of steel, so it's not that valuable, but it's a piece of history, so to me, it's priceless. Oh, that's really cool, Cody. Hold on, I'll show you another one. Oh, there's a lot of fur on my couch. Let me get my lint roller. That's kind of a good one. Oh, yeah, this one's really cool. Oh, you're going to love this. Okay, oh my check God. this one out, Junior. It's from 1919. Wait, Junior. What happened to my penny? I don't know. It's right here. I, I don't know what happened to it. Well, it's gone now. When did you take it? I did not take it, Cody. You bro, it doing? got by the fucking roller, bro. This would be open and shut in a couple of seconds if they were sh smart. I'm rolling the couch and you were looking at your penny. I didn't take it. Well, I didn't just get up and walk away. Jim, your pennies don't have legs. I don't know what happened to it, Cody. I didn't touch it. Well, you just made it disappear like your David Copperfield. Or more like David Pennyfield or, or David David Steelfield because because it's made of steel and not copper like like pennies normally are. You made it disappear and David Copperfield this makes things disappear because he's a, he's a magician. I didn't touch your stupid penny, Cody. I don't care about your dumb pennies or your penny collection. No, dude, I'm so mad. But... I gotta go say something real quick. The internet browser you're using sucks. Wanna know why? Because it doesn't No! 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 Okay, there. Channel by using the link in the description to download shit, Opera no. GX today. No. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring I have this gotten video. too many of those oh, ads. That ad read temporarily distracted me, but now that I'm back and I'm seeing you, I am so mad. I can't believe you would steal my steel penny like that. I did not steal your steel penny, Cody. Oh, yeah? Well, then who did? It's just me and you here, Junior. I don't see anybody else unless it was your stupid cat. Actually, I shouldn't call him stupid. He seemed very nice and he was very fluffy, so I shouldn't say that. But I bet he didn't take my penny because he's a cat. He doesn't know about money. He doesn't care. He doesn't know the difference between steel and copper. He doesn't know about World War II. He doesn't know history, Junior. He doesn't care. He's a cat. He did he not is steal junior. your penny, Cody. No one stole it. It's just lost. Oh, yeah? Well, it was a steel penny, so that's why I think you wanted to steal my steel penny. I did not want to steal your steel penny, Cody. No one cares about your stupid penny. <laughs> Only you care about pennies. Oh, oh Junior, this really salt my apples. Oh, boy. Oh, you are a, you are a big jerk. Just a big jerk face. You don't mean that. I do. I mean every word of it, Junior. You're the biggest jerk face I've ever seen. Take it back. Nope, you are no, a bad I'm not guy. taking that back. You are not a good person. Oh, you are you are rooting for a bootin'. You are clamoring for a hammer, hammering, mister. You are yearning for a burning. Oh, you make me so mad. If I was at a grocery store, I would I would kick a shopping cart. I would. I would kick a shopping cart. But not, not somebody else's shopping cart. I wouldn't want to damage anybody else's produce. No, it would be my shopping cart, and probably not in the parking lot, because I, I wouldn't want it to roll away and hit somebody's car and cause property damage. I would... Bro. That'd be bad. I, I don't want that. But but no, I, I would kick it just so it made the sound, you know? But but not too hard, though, because I, I don't want to damage the shopping cart because then the store would hold me responsible. I don't want to have to pay for that. I, I, I'd just kick it Bro, how and then old the shopping cart return. But, but probably, probably I wouldn't do that either because then it might roll away and then the shopping cart boy would have to chase after it and he doesn't get paid enough for that kind of an inconvenience. So I, I wouldn't kick the shopping cart at all, but I am so mad, Junior. You are munching for a budget. Hey, Junior, are you ready to go to the movies? Oh, wow. So you're gonna spend my stolen penny on a movie ticket? Cody, a movie ticket costs more than a penny. Junior, I'll have you know that steel penny was worth 13 to 30 cents depending on the condition, and it wasn't in very good condition, so it's probably more like 13 cents. And why is there another cat in here, Junior? Are you spending my penny on cats? You need more cats? Wait, Cody, you had a steel penny? I had a steel penny until somebody decided to get sticky fingers. Junior, you stole Cody's steel penny? I did not steal his stupid penny. I don't know what happened to it. No, he stole it, Penelope because it was right there. I'm talking right there. I mean, literally right there. And I look down for one second, and then I look back up and poof, it's gone. Just like poof. I did not take a stupid penny. penny. Honestly, who the hell are... No one penny. is stealing a penny. For it. Junior, it's not funny. Give it back to him. I did not take a stupid penny. Let's just go to the dumb movies. What movie are you guys in? Kung Fu Panda 4. Oh, wow. Okay, Kung Fu Panda. That sounds really fun.
Well, why don't you just come with us? No, no, I don't have enough money because I'm 13 to 30 cents short because somebody stole my penny. Cody, I'll get your ticket. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Penelope C. Jr. That's what a real friend looks like. I would not steal your stupid penny because I don't care about your dumb penny. How about you guys just go to the movies because I haven't even seen the first three Kung Fu Pandas. Oh, wow. Okay, now you know he's a thief. He hasn't even seen the first three. Well, I don't like karate movies. Well, it's not karate, Junior. It's Kung Fu. It's a completely different martial art. And everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. What? Okay, well, listen, I'll, look, I'll just go see the fourth one. I don't have to see the first three. You can't start with the fourth one. You gotta see the first three. I did. The Star Wars movies are out of order. True. You, you start with the fourth one with the Star Wars. But it is not like that was Kung Fu Panda. Listen, it doesn't matter. Let's go see the stupid movie. Well, I'm coming to you. Honestly, you're, you're I started the fourth. Sorry, no, sorry. I started in the third movie, hey, bro. Junior, I can't help but notice you bought the large popcorn. That'll run you about $12.50. That's a lot of money to spend on popcorn. It's almost like you came into a lot of money lately. Cody, you said your stupid penny was worth 30 cents. This popcorn was $12.50. How would I buy popcorn with your penny? I don't know, Junior. I don't know how many steel pennies you've been stealing from around town since you're so good at making them disappear. The movie's bro, Skadoosh! I'm Jack Black as a panda! Hi! <laughs> I'm Jack Black as a panda! What the fuck? So his dad's a bird? Shh! Oh, I really would love to see all this kung fu happening on the screen, but I just can't take my eyes off of Junior because I can't trust him for a second! Kung fu? How about panda fu? Hiya! Hey, Junior, I got some gummy bears. Try not to take any. Oh, but you won't want them because they're not made of steel. Because if they made them out of steel, that would be a choking hazard and they might get sued, so they probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> Bro, so stop these laser pacifics. Better not take any of those. I don't want any of them. Well, actually, I don't even know if I want them because they might taste like whoever sat here's butt. Actually, you know what? <laughs> get this one out of the way. Oh, I dropped one on the ground, Cody. Oh, you're so embarrassing! I can't believe you stole my gummy bear, too, Junior. I didn't steal your stupid gummy bear. It fell on the floor. And I can't believe you guys got us kicked out of the movie theater. That was so embarrassing. Bro. Well, this could all be resolved if Junior would just put his hand in his pocket and pull out my steel penny. I don't have anything in my pocket because I don't have pockets. Okay, well, your shoe, then. I don't have your penny in my shoe. I didn't steal your stupid penny, Cody. Yeah, well, I already called the police. But you called the police? What? That's how serious Whoa. this is. They're on their way over here right now. Oh, oh, what, Penny? It's not my dad. Hey, Leah, somebody called the cops? Yeah, I did. Oh, hey, Penelope. Hi, Dad. Did you do your homework? Yes, Dad. Are you sure? Dad! You know, Penelope, whenever I ask the guys in death row if they did their homework when they were a kid, they say, yeah, I killed them and I kill them again, too. I don't really like to talk to them. Wow, Dad, that's a cool story. Thanks. Well, I would like to report a robbery. Oh, a robbery, huh? Did he have a gun? I don't know. I never thought he would steal from me, so who knows what else he's capable of. Okay, well, what did he steal? My 1943 steel penny. You see, during World War II, they didn't make pennies with copper. And yeah, no, I, I know the story about the pennies. So, was it a copper penny or a steel penny? Because if it was a copper penny, that would be worth over a million dollars, and that would be a very serious crime. No, it was a steel penny. Penny. Oh, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, they're only worth a few cents. I mean, anything under $500 would just be considered petty theft. Oh, it was petty, all right. Well, he stole it, and I want him in handcuffs. Okay, well, let me conduct my police interrogation. Hey, you steal his penny? No. Oh, okay. Well, is there anybody else who could have seen this happen? Uh, his cat? Oh, I guess we could ask the cat. Okay, I'll go ask him. Hey, no, cat, no. Huh? Well, don't run away from me. Hey. <sighs> Did you talk to the cat? Yeah, but he ran away from me. But that's okay, he seemed pretty innocent to me. And besides, I think I already know who the thief is. I think he's in this room. I just wish he would own up to it. I didn't steal your penny, Cody. Oh, really, Junior? That's very interesting you're the first one to respond, because I wasn't talking to you. You were playing the whole day! To the thief, so it's really interesting you're the first one to answer. Well, I thought you were talking to me because you've been accusing me all day of stealing it. Or maybe you just felt guilty for stealing my penny. I don't feel guilty. Oh, okay. See, he feels no remorse, so he's also a narcissist as well as a thief. Cody, are you sure it didn't fall on, like, the couch cushions or something? No, it didn't. Junior stole it. Well, did you check the couch cushions? No, and I will not do that. Okay. Okay, well, what if you accidentally put it back in the coin bin without realizing it? I would have remembered doing that. Cody, come on, check your coins. Maybe it somehow got back in there and we just didn't notice. Or maybe you put it in the coin bin. I, I don't, well, maybe even, even if I did, you should check it. Okay, I just can't hurt to check. Nope, not that one. Or that one. Nope, not that one. That one's 1997. No, 1985. 2004. Nope, nope, not that one. Or that one. Wait, hold on. 
No, 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 no. Not that one. Nope. Nope. Not that one either. It's gonna take a while. Nope. There's a lot of honeys. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Someone else here. Oh, that one's a quarter. Can I go now? No, because I want to press charges. You really want this to go to court? Yes! I'm the judge to decide. Okay, come on then. Uh. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Cody. Bro, I'm just upset over Cody. Like, you want to bring this to court? Mm, yes, thank you for clarifying. This is funny. Let the show that Junior is not Cody's friend. Okay, Cody claims that his not friend Junior stole his 1943 steel penny. Cody, tell us what happened. Well, Your Honor, I was showing my coin collection to someone I thought was my friend, but it turns out he was just a coin thief pretending wow. to be my friend. I showed him one of my many steel pennies and placed it right there on the couch. I'm talking right beside me, like literally right. Right, freaking there. And I looked down for one second, and the steel penny was gone. Junior took it because he knew it was valuable and priceless to me. Hmm, I see. This is a very serious accusation. Junior, did you really steal his penny? No, I wouldn't steal his dumb, stupid steel penny. I did not care about it. He was showing me his dumb coin collection, and I really did not care at all. And then he put it on the couch, and I don't know what happened to it. It just went missing, and he wants to blame me for it. I know you took my goddamn penny, you big jerk. You, you big old jerk face, biggest jerk face I've ever seen. Oh, no, 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 no. I, will not I mean, there's probably bigger jerk faces out there. Language in my courtroom. Cody, you have not shown me any evidence that would prove Junior guilty, so I have no choice but to find Junior not guilty. Yes! What? Are you kidding me? Justice has not been served today, Your Honor. You just let a thief loose back into the public. If your steel penny gets stolen, don't come crying to me, but I know who did it. See, Cody, I told you I wasn't guilty. Yeah, well, the judge wasn't there, and I don't even think he was a real judge, so I want to see his credentials. You guys, this whole thing is just so stupid. Can we let it go? No, Penelope, it was a steel penny. They don't oh, my God. Anymore. Guys, what is this? That's a lint roller, idiot. Look what's on the lint roller, idiot. Probably lint. Get your good glasses on, Cody. Look. Let me see that. What? My penny. Oh, when I was rolling up the fur, I must have actually rolled up your pen. What the fuck? Really? Wow, I guess I can take these mad eyes off. I don't need these anymore. Well, don't I just feel silly? Yeah, it's just a big you to break this to court. Aren't I just the silliest goose? It was just a big old accident. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, Junior. That happens to everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's just the things no, happen. Doesn't. You know? <laughs> well, that's just so silly. You, don't you know what isn't silly? Opera GS. Bro, that's really awesome, man. This phone, this phone, honestly, you can't see that. My Switch, a computer, another computer, a third computer, my Switch, multiple different times, a phone or two, a tablet, and also, I, I might have lost my sanity a long time ago.